every day something weird happens in Ottawa, but today was a another one of those days. So Justin Trudeau has come under fire in the last few years over a fund that is supposed to be used to fund various diplomatic activities for the Canadian government abroad. Now, you guys, before I get into this, and very quickly, you know that uh, the government has passed censorship bills C-18 and C-11. Um, you guys know that Facebook is starting to ban the news. Many of you might not be able to see this. The link to what I'm about to describe to you, it's in the comments. Click subscribe to that. If you click subscribe, then I can directly communicate with you and I can continue to try and reach you. Now, what happened with this fund? So Justin Trudeau has come under uh, fire for this fund in, in recent years because there's reports about it being used for a lot of weird things. First of all, there's been reports about it being severely over budget, but it's been used to fund things like sex toy exhibits and to fly a chef to the Dominican Republic. And it was in the news yesterday in the National Post about sex talks. And the content of it aside, I put in, I put in, a, a formal query to find out exactly how much money the government had spent on this fund. It's called the Mission Cultural Fund. And more importantly, what it was being used for, how these projects were being selected. Now, the response that I got back from the government, you can read it, you can read it. The link is in the comments. So click on that and then click subscribe so that I can, you know, beat the Liberals censorship ban. But they came back to me and they're like, oh, sorry, can't tell you that. So here we've got the government spending millions of dollars on you know pr really provocative things they should at least be able to tell you how much they're spending and why they're spending this money what results did it get for canada so again you can read that the links in the comments now let me tell you what supposedly this fund is supposed to be used for there's this whole concept of something called soft power now melanie jolie canada's foreign affairs minister you'll remember that when um, Russia invaded Ukraine at the start of last year, she came out and gave some very blunt remarks about the fact that Canada doesn't really have any military capacity and that we have to rely on something called soft power. Um, this mission cultural fund that all these things were funded through, is apparently supposed to be used to showcase Canada's values through art and food and culture and hopefully, therefore, I guess, influence other countries. But if that's what the government's saying this fund is supposed to be used for, and we're hearing things like it's funding sex toy shows, the government should be able to communicate to you, the Canadian public, how exactly this is influencing other countries and whether or not it's value for money. The fact that they wrote back to me as a parliamentarian and said, mm, we're not gonna tell you that, even though it's your job, sorry, you don't get to know, that's outrageous, that's outrageous. Everybody in Canada has the right to know how their tax dollars are being spent, right? It's a whole principle of representation if there's going to be taxation. The government can't just give me the finger and you the finger and say, sorry, we're not going to tell you, especially given all of these reports that have made a lot of news over the last few years and one big one yesterday. So I just want to let you know, because many of you ask and say, well, what have you done about this? So first of all, I inquired, then they said, no, we're not going to tell you, which is questionable. I've also referred the matter to the Parliamentary Budget Office for more scrutiny. And there's a couple of other tools that I could use as well. But the, the, the bottom line is, is that, again, regardless of how you vote, please share this video with somebody who, you know, maybe does vote for the Liberal government. The government should be able to explain how they're spending money and what sort of value you're going to get out of it, right? So again, I've written a long form piece on this. It also has links to that request, that parliament, um, the um, order paper question that I mentioned, where the government's response is in there. The link's in the comments. Um, I don't think that the mainstream media has covered this at all today. And again, we know with the liberal censorship bills, this motion that they had at their convention, that they're trying to stifle Canadian voices. So that's why it's so important that you click subscribe to the link that's in the comment feeds when you're reading this article so that I can directly communicate with you about things like this that actually really matter. The fact that the government, and again, this is a government that's not shy about spending money and they're certainly not shy about talking about spending money. So there's a lot of questions about why are they hiding 
the details on this fund? Why won't they tell Parliament about it? If it's so important and it's making so much impact, supposedly, they should be able to explain that to you and to me. But so far they're saying, uh -uh, we're not going to tell you and that's not acceptable. And this is part of the work that I do as a parliamentarian on a daily basis. I'm looking at public expenditures. I'm trying to find out what the government is spending money on and trying to understand if you're getting for value, value for money. And in this case, there's a lot of questions. It's not just about the provocativeness of some of these, these, these uh, things that they've spent the money on, like this sex toy show. I'm serious, you gotta read this art. I, I'm dead serious. The link is in the article. I'm not making this up. I encourage you to read it. Um, it's not about the provocativeness as much as it is about the fact that the government can't explain how much money they're spending, why they're spending it, and what sort of goal it's accomplishing. It's really easy for the government to get up. Do you notice that they do this all the time? And they say, oh, we've spent all this money, but what's happening is we're spending more as Canadians and we're getting less. And we get something, and it sounds a little sketchy, we sh the government should be able to explain why they spent this money and if it was in alignment with the objectives of the fund to begin with. And in this case, I'm pretty sure that there's um, there's some big questions to be answered. That's where you come in. It's important for you to know about this, to talk about it with your friends and to explain to them that the government isn't being accountable to the Canadian public for how they're spending money, especially when there's like these weird headlines like this. So this is one of these weird stories. It's such a good example of how this government just doesn't take tra transparency seriously. And I break this all down for you in a long form piece. The link's in the comments. Click subscribe so that you can get this news directly in, in light of all of these bans and stuff like that. I'm trying to make sure that no matter what happens with the liberal censorship stuff, that I can still talk to you about the work that I'm doing in Ottawa. So stay tuned here on this channel because over the next couple of months, like I promise you I'm gonna keep digging into this and lots of other issues as well. But this is an issue that didn't hit the mainstream media today uh, and it's certainly something that um, I think is really important that you take a look at. Working hard for you in Ottawa. Share this video. Have a great day.